today. 4.55 a.m. And I'm experiencing really bad stomach pains right now. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's, it hurts. Um, I think everything is starting to kind of wear off, so kind of experiencing everything right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's like air or something, but it does not feel good. Uh, and of course, still laying here, can't do anything. So, they're gonna, um, they're gonna let me get up, um, Saturday. So, my first time walking will be on Saturday. Hopefully, I can have somebody record me getting up. Um, yeah. So, I got right now. All right, job. Hey, hey, so I'm on day four, post up day four. Um, they just got me up to walk. And I tell y'all, that was the hardest thing to do. Like, my right leg, I felt like I couldn't control, like, I couldn't move it. Um, it was, it was so stiff, so hard. And I can't bend it, but my left leg I can bend. That was that kind of hurt too, though. Um, so you don't realize, um, you know, how much you use your leg muscles, like how much you need them until they're actually like not gone, but messed with. So, oh my God, it it was hard. But I mean, he got, he got me up, like he picked me up pretty much. Um, I just put my leg down, my left leg down and he lifted me. Um, but trying to like walk side by side and forward. Also, don't look down when you get up. Keep your head up because if you look down, you're going to get nauseous, lightheaded and everything. So keep your head up. Just look around the room. Um, but yeah, that... I'm going to be walking again later on uh, tonight. Hopefully, I can get some recordings of me walking. Um, you know, maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Um, and he also, um, you know, uh, wrapped up my Lang Lang differently. Um, you know, a little more space, how he did it. So that's cool. Um, you know, other than that, I'm just, I'm just healing, pretty much. So, uh, if anything else happens, I will give y'all the updates, but that's all I got for right now. <sighs> Alright, y'all. Hey, hey. Today is the 12th, um, and they have me on a bedpan. Very uncomfortable, um... Basically, like me shitting in bed. Uh, so yes, it took me it took me five days um, until I felt like I had to use the restroom. So I don't even know if I am. Um, just sitting here, it felt like I did. So they just prepare me just in case. But yes, they have a bedpan under me. So. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so it's just something I'm sharing that, you know, you might have to use a bedpan. Um, yes, it's very awkward. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, yeah. We're going to see. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, today is May 13th. Um, this morning I got my wound back removed and all of the bandages and I got my drain removed. Um, the drain, listen, I'm, I'm all about pain, so I was scared of the drain being removed, but it was so short and quick. 
uh, it was a slight burn. I'm not gonna lie, it was a slight burn. And she was like, it's out. I was like, oh, it wasn't bad. Okay, cool. The bandages they had, like, around the wound vac. Oh, <laughs> my God. And the only reason why it hurt so bad is because I'm a hairy, I'm a hairy guy. So they shaved certain parts, but they get, didn't get all the hair off. Um, so and some parts was cool by my knee. Woof, boy. And like the other side of my thigh, because they, they put it over and they didn't shave that area at all. I would never get a wax because if that's what I imagine what a wax would feel like. <sighs> Y'all, I was in here sweating. I didn't came out the bonnet. It was it was bad. I didn't move the pillow. <laughs> but we were trying to laugh and, and talk and all type of stuff. Um she's great though. She's great. She's very funny. Um but um the donor site looks really good though. It looks really good. I I will post a picture of it. Um But yeah, my morning was something else. Something else. I mean I still have the, the Foley in. Um I thought that was gonna come out today, but I'm still a little swollen, so the Foley can't come out. Um uh, it's probably gonna come out when I visit my surgeon, Dr. Sling, um, when we have our appointment, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be swollen no more by the time I see him, but who knows? But yeah, I just want to tell you how my morning was going. Um, yeah. Yeah, have a go. So I took, I took a walk earlier without the wound back on my right leg where the donor site was so uh, uh was it hurts um like as if like as if like your muscle is like extremely sore and it's really hard to walk on that leg my left leg still cracks and bleeds so it's like, you know, which which one do you want to put the most pressure on? I have to start off with my left leg anyway, so that's the leg I'm kind of like working towards. But it hurt. It did. Um, felt really weird. But you know, day by day it'll get better. The more I walk, the more my body will get used to it. But basically, it's like me learning how to walk all over again, pretty much. Um, and it's hard. I have to use a walker. Um, so, yeah. It's, this procedure, you just really have to be mentally ready for. It's not about if you're just physically ready. It's, are you mentally ready for this? Um, so, you know, it's just something to think about. But, yeah. Everything else has been, you know, cool. The fruit fucking sucks, of course. You know, but the fruit, good as fuck. Um, yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Hey. So last night they took me out to ICU. And I can say, having my own room and like having my own space I slept so good last night. Like, oh, I think that was the best sleep that I had since I was here. But, um, I go home today. It is May 14th. I've been here since the 7th. I've had my ups and downs at the hospital. I know I'm going to have my ups and downs at home, you know. That's just the thing about surgery. Um, so they checked me again.
Perfect. And, uh, they changed my bandages again. They said everything is looking good. You know, I just have to follow, you know, A, B, C, and D. Um, and of course I'm gonna follow those things because I want everything to go correctly. Um, yeah, um, my surgeon came in, we talked about, you know, a few little things. We talked about, you know, him giving me more information about, you know, stage three. Uh, I won't be staying in the hospital because it's such a small surgery. I'm like, cool. Um, I have to walk some more before I leave today. Um, but other than that, I mean, let's continue on with the journey <laughs> at this point. But, uh, yeah, this bed, um, is not as, as comfortable as the ICU bed, I, I can say that. Mm. But having your own little space, yes, yes, I slept, I slept good, I did. Um, but yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. I am going home today. Uh, well, I'm going to my cousin's house because uh, I have dogs and I can't be around them until, you know, I get a little better. You know, they're going to be excited to see me, be jumping on me and stuff like that, and they can't, so... I'm going to be at my cousin's house, so I'm going to be missing my babies a little bit longer, but I will see them soon. Um, but yeah, now it's time to tackle on stage two. I mean, yes, I already did the procedure, but I mean, like, healing and everything. That's what I mean by tackling it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right. <laughs> I'm not shocked.